Alison Sargent joins me on the set for a look at what the papers have been saying today. Hi, Alison. Hi, Lots of focus here in France on that brutal murder of a history teacher, Samuel Petit, Friday in, in France. Yeah, Liberty, I teach your name. That's the front page headline from Liberation today. Uh, those words might sound familiar, Jeannie. That's because that line is a reference to uh, a famous poem, Liberty, by Paul Eluard, which was written during the World War II occupation of France in support of the French resistance. Uh, the original line is I write your name. Uh, in their editorial today, Liberation calls Samuel Petit an unexpected martyr of the mission of the French Republic, a mission he was carrying out by teaching. Uh, the paper writes that we've known for years that teachers in France are facing pressure from parents for the way they tackle topics, uh, from Islam to the Holocaust to homosexuality. And according to Liberation, the best way to pay tribute to Samuel Petit would be for his lesson on freedom of expression to be taught in classrooms across the country when children come back uh, from fall vacation in just a few weeks. And there's been a real outpouring of support to this murder of Samuel Petit. We saw those huge protests, particularly here in Paris on Sunday. That's right. Catholic paper La Croix is calling on the nation to resist barbarity. We see a photo of that rally on their front page today. Uh, the paper asks, how did we get here? How was a teacher not only murdered, but decapitated? Uh, La Croix's editors write that their thoughts are with the victim's family, with his students, his colleagues, teachers everywhere, and also with Muslims here in France who are trying to live out their faith in peace. The paper calls on the country to respond to barbarity with social unity and an ability to hold national debate. That, of course, though, is much easier said than done. Le Parisien already has an article explaining how France's political class is divided, something we saw um, at these rallies yesterday while politicians like France's prime minister and Paris's socialist mayor, Anne Hidalgo, were present at the rally in Paris. Well, the paper notes many right-wing politicians were not. Uh, they say many of them instead were on social media decrying the politics of candles, as one of them called it, basically accusing the left of lighting candles, paying tribute, but not actually taking any action. Uh, and we see that same sentiment being expressed in France's right-wing newspaper, Le Figaro, today in their editorial. They ask tears, tributes, and then what? Uh, the paper also took a, a, quite a strong decision today. It's worth mentioning. Um, inside the paper, they republished two of the drawings of uh, Mohammed that Samuel Paty showed to his class. Now, right-wing papers and right-wing politicians are putting lots of pressure on one person in particular. That's the French president, Emmanuel Macron. That's right. Macron has his back to the wall. That's the headline from L'Opinion today. Uh, the paper points out that this attack comes just two weeks after Macron's government presented their new law on separatism meant to fight um, Islamist extremism. They say it puts pressure on the government not only to identify the problem, but also to take real action against it. Uh, France's financial paper, Les Echos, meanwhile, writes that the government is considering new measures to fight radical Islam, to protect teachers, and to survey social networks. Uh, it's worth noting that videos that were spread online are being looked to for the huge role they had um, in leading to this attack. And already one man who made a video denouncing the teacher has been arrested in this case, an Islamist militant who was already known to the police. That's right. This man went with parents uh, to complain to the school. He also helped them file a formal complaint with police. Uh, his name is Abdel Hakim Sefri. We, a lot of papers are taking a closer look at who he is. Uh, unlike the young man who carried out the attack, uh, Sefriwi was known to French authorities for radical radicalization. Le Figaro explains that he is a self-proclaimed imam known for radical activism. They give an, an example of him um, harassing a French imam who, who he accused of being too close to France's Jewish community. Uh, the paper explains that under current laws, the government has no way of taking action, or had no way of taking action against Sefriwi, an extremist like him, uh, but La Figaro is hopeful that lawmakers will take a lesson from this attack and maybe use that coming legislation on separatism to sort of add some new laws. Alison, you just wanted to wrap up with some words from one of Samuel Petit's students. Yeah, there have been some sort of sweet reactions that we've been getting from students um, who've been horrified by this attack. Uh, the Huffington Post was particularly charmed by one boy, Pep Biram. Uh, he remembered Petty as a teacher who would joke around a lot, who really loved his job, who came to work, this student said, because he really loved it, not because he had to. Uh, he also talked about the importance of continuing to go to school and not giving in to terrorists, which is powerful words and always kind of more powerful and shocking when they come from children that are so young. Alison, thanks for that. Uh, that's Alison Sargent there with the press review today. Focus is coming up next, and Live from Paris continues at the top of the hour. Stay with us.